Hi guys, my name is Veronica and today I'm going to tell you what's new in the Customers Canvas web to print software. Customers Canvas is a web to print platform that helps companies automate the ordering process and improve their user experience. Let's take a look at some groundbreaking new updates we've introduced to Customers Canvas over the last few months. First, let's take a look at the design editor improvements. We've added new functionality, allowing end users to save their projects and revisit them at any time from any device. You can now provide your customers with an out-of-the-box option to save and store their personalized designs for further editing or ordering later. This new functionality facilitates the personalization process across different devices and helps you get repeated orders. We've implemented various scenarios for working with lists. And users may want to use lists when editing for many situations, such as adding a bulleted list to a business card for convenient content organization, or structuring a real estate brochure using numerical or multi-level lists. And users can also apply different styles to the text within lists. For example, they can highlight a part of the text in bold or italics or apply different colors. Our developers have added the ability to limit the minimum size of barcodes and images by height and width. Design elements such as barcodes and QR codes should be readable. If the end users make them too small, the scanning device won't be able to read them properly. Let's check new pre-flight developments. Customers Canvas Preflight is an add-on that performs checks on a print-ready file to guarantee the final product meets customers' expectations. It's now possible to set up different rules or safety lines on separate pages for a preflight check. Multi-page products sometimes require different configuration for each page. For example, when end users upload their design to the editor for a preflight check, you may want the first page in the SMYK color format and the next page in grayscale. Perhaps you need to apply a rule where the first page has green safety lines while the other pages have blue safety lines. Let's go through the latest template editor updates. The Customers Canvas Template Editor is a built-in editor that can be used to create web-to-print templates. You can find every tool you need to make professional-looking designs in this editor. We have expanded the ways end users can work with lists. You can configure what bullets and numbers your clients select in the design editor. You can create regular or multi-level lists and set up margins and styles in the settings. We've added support for the Snap to Grid feature. The grid is an important attribute that helps designers create professional-looking designs. You can easily set up the grid properties directly in the template editor by configuring dimensions and selecting colors for snap lines. Now you can copy and paste screenshots, images from other software like Photoshop or Illustrator and text directly into the design area. Simply select an object and paste it into the editor using the context menu or hotkeys. We have also improved our back office. Customers Canvas Back Office is an admin panel that simplifies asset and template management. In this panel, you can connect the design editor to the products yourself, store all the files you need, grant permissions to your team, and perform many other tasks. Markers in the design editor are a useful tool for fine-tuning design element behavior. When you design complex templates, you may want to define shortcuts for combining several markers and applying them to multiple design elements. If you need to import IDML or PSD files with custom marker shortcuts, you can now use the new import section that we've added to Customers Canvas back office. In this section, you can turn marker shortcuts on and off 
view their descriptions in the embedded JSON editor and check what permissions markers include. We've also added links to our documentation where you can find more detailed information. For the full list of updates, check our Developer Center.